when I was traveling in Sinai in uh, Egypt, and we slept on sleeping bags. Uh, we were in New Brunswick on the coast, and um, at night I went to just take a walk on the dunes, and I looked up and I saw the Milky Way uh, in its splendor uh, in a way that I had never seen before. It, it's as if I would see the world for the first time, or I would peek into reality for the first time. And I remember having that feeling of the universe and the stars and, and the sky being so close uh, from that vantage point and just the vast immensity of the feeling of, of being so minuscule. The vastness of, of this exhibition is relative to the vastness of the subject. There's this beautiful story that inspired us a lot. The Greeks believed that in order to see an object or see the world around us, light emanates from our eyes. And they believed that the light was coming from the inside. And it's only later that they understood that the reason why we see is because light is coming from very far. And I think that from that moment and that uh, realization came the invention of the telescope and, uh, and this um, desire to understand where this light was coming from. I think the quest for space travel is, is almost a, a human impulse. The quest that becomes not a, a national quest, or not a political quest, or not, but just a human quest. We started to brainstorm what the next big project that time would like to invest in, in outer space, was going to be. Uh, we quickly came to the realization that the ultimate thing to film would be human beings in space. We had to start something that had never been done before. We had to create something in a space that there was no uh, path, you know, so it, it was trailblazing and groundbreaking in a way because a project of this scope, nature, complexity, magnitude had never been attempted before. And the idea of creating an exhibit uh, started very early on, and we turned to Fi, who are our friends and longtime uh, allies, uh, and said, "Can we come together and create something, you know, truly unique?" And so it's really crafted around the stories of the astronauts themselves, their experience of being on the International Space Station. When the astronauts leave the planet, they bring nothing, and so they find themselves in space as almost a neutral observer. And so the notion of, of who am I suddenly becomes who are we. And so that was really important for us to, to consider the poetry and the deep human um, response to what it means to leave the planet. One thing that was pretty extraordinary with that collaboration is that uh, creating a large-scale free-roaming experience also allowed us to add a physicality into the experience. People are moving. People have the real impression of being there. Uh, people will have the impression to walk in space, to see the planet around, uh, eventually to have uh, this experience of the overview effect. And it's very physical and emotional. So not only do you feel I am walking in the ISS in its correct dimensions, but I see others with me um, who are avatars that we perceive through the content and, and through the interactivity of, of the technology. I think that all of that is going to surprise audiences, reveal something inside of them that maybe they didn't know was there. Um, and 
think about you know the fascination that a lot of people have in regards to space, in regards to nature, in regards to the earth. So far, if I think about everything that I've experienced in relation to that content, it was very often in the context of a planetarium or a science center, but it was rarely expressed in an artistic and lyrical way. And this experience does that. It's part of us, I like to, to try to understand the, the meaning of our existence, where do we come from and why and, and what's beyond. Because it's difficult to process maybe the idea that we might be the only living species uh, throughout the, the cosmos. And this gives us a, a vertigo. As a kid uh, growing up in the, the suburb of a small city called Fleurimont, everything that I knew was within pretty much one square mile and that was my world. And I remember that when I would play with kids outside within that closed world where I was allowed to go, uh, I would sometimes turn my gaze upwards and watch the stars and I would be just completely struck by the contrast between the finite limit of the world I was allowed to grow in and evolve into as a kid and the feeling of infinity that, that I felt every time that I would look upwards uh, and that the, the emotion of vertigo that was triggered every single time that I would feel that, that disconnect. Um, and, so, and so that for me was the, probably the starting point for fascination in regards to space.